I love the origami cake. It was beautiful, it was trendy, it was modern, it looked so incredible, but it took legit hours to make that mold that we folded that went around the cake. And I found this online. It is an origami silicone mold that is already pre-made and you can just wrap around your cake. But I have some problems. The first way you could completely customize to your cake shape and the, the pattern that you wanted to make, but it took hours. This one is super tiny. I mean, it looks big when it's like this, right? It's like, oh, you could wrap that around your cake, except it's super small. Like it doesn't even fit around a six inch round cake. So I've made a little template for us to cut it out, but basically this is gonna be the size of the cake and this is the biggest mold I can find online. Nonetheless, I wanna test it out and see like, does it work? Is it half decent, even though it's a tiny cake? So since I'm cutting out so much of this cake, I just used the random cake scraps I had in my fridge from when I was doing some recipe testing. It's like a little baby cake, look at that. So I made some white chocolate ganache. I'm just adding some white food coloring into that so that way it's not transparent. And then I'm adding in some gray because I'm going for a concrete look. I think we're gonna do like a marbled vibe, but we're gonna start off with gray and keep things nice and easy. Instead of doing some sort of filling, I'm just gonna layer it up with the same ganache that I'm crumb coating it with. Also, I despise icing cakes and ganache. Although I will say that dripping over the top and then just like pushing over the edge worked really nicely rather than trying to like spoonful it on the sides like I did last time. I figured, you know what, if we're doing this technique again, we're using a mold, we might as well try a different technique with a chocolate. I'm gonna do a really light gray, kind of a medium gray, and then a dark moody gray. Last time, I just like did one color, so I piped it all into the mold to make sure there's no air bubbles. I'm gonna do that again, except I'm gonna try to marble it in the cup. I mean, the way it looks in the bag looks pretty cool. Hopefully it keeps more of this and less of this because I like the look of that. That's really cool. I feel like it's all one shade, Kevin. Okay. Why don't you just spoon some of the chocolate back out into here until you get to the marbled bit? Or all over the table works. Um, <laughs> or in the cup. It's just marbling together. Yeah, see? No, but there's marble. Look at the bottom of the Oh, cup. there is marble! Oh no, I'm wasting my chocolate. Let's go. What are you doing, Kevin? <laughs> Maybe take your time to make sure that you don't get air bubbles, Lori. Right, all oh, this might be air bubbly. <laughs> But the air bubbles are totally normal. I think I felt like panicked because I was like, oh no, the marbling's marbling. I need to, <laughs> I need to do it really quickly. It's a hard mold to, to do, I think, without getting air bubbles. Are you trying to make me preemptively feel better because you know this is gonna be a fail? <laughs> it's how it sounds, Kevin. I wanted like more chunky marble and this is a lot more blended marble, but. Yeah. I definitely see air bubbles coming up which is terrifying. But the air bubbles are totally normal. Okay, I don't know. I think we're gonna let this, no, or we're not letting it set. No. We push it right on top of the cake yeah. right now. Yeah, it's good. Right, go. we're going. All right, hold on. You think me... you got all the air bubbles out? No. Okay. Not a chance. We'll get our answer after you put it on the cake though, that's for sure. Oh, weird, I can see the pattern through it. Okay, this is a lot less intimidating to lift than the other one. Oh, that's a lot taller. What, what happened to the height of the cake? Where's what? the rest of the cake? Oh, it's all just like pouring out of the mold, Kevin. What happened? Kevin! Oh my gosh. Why? I mean, I don't... Okay, I don't understand because like we measured, we held it up to it. So like genuinely, where did the rest of the cake go? Like, I don't know what happened here that this looks like this right now. We knew that there was gonna be a space at the back. So we figured we would just make like a little panel at the back and that would be the wedge and we can just like fill that in with more chocolate. It's the height that's like, what happened with the height of this? I'm also confused. This is not going to plan. I had another cake round in the freezer, so I've ish kind of measured what the height of that needs to be to give us a little bit of room on the top for what this cake layer is gonna be. I'm trying to work fast here, so I've got this little piece of scrap parchment paper, so I know it needs to be a bit bigger than this. Just gonna put a little bit more ganache down here to help it glue it into place. Oh, you're singing now. Yep, <laughs> this is where we're at. That's what people do when they're happy, right? Maybe I'm like subconsciously singing and like trying to convince myself that everything is fine and that I'm happy about this right now. Okay, I'm sticking my cake round into my mold. I'm definitely running into issues with this mold. Also just like the fact that somehow we mismeasured the height, but it's not our mistakes that define us. It's how we overcome them. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's coming up at the bottom there. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm very curious to see if anyone else has been able to use this mold and make it work for them, or if it's just that I am a mess. I just put the cake in the fridge for five minutes just so this could get a little bit tacky and rubbery and stop spilling out everywhere. This is a guessing game at this point of what this is gonna look like when this mold comes off. You have faith, right, Kevin? So much faith. So, so much. I am Your first silence is faith. speaking so much faith. Sorry, I zoned out. <laughs> I think it's gonna be good. Minimal air bubbles. The back we just won't look at. Uh, that after a second. And it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I feel like we always obsess so hard about getting our tops of our cake smooth and then we just like cover them in decorations and you can't see it. What is that about? Someone tell me. It's perfect. Put it in the fridge. Okay. <laughs> It is day two. I put the cake in the fridge overnight to fully chill because I do not trust the chocolate. But before I take it out, I really want to tell you guys how excited I am because we just wrapped filming on our course. This is something we've been working so hard on and we've been digging through your guys' comments for months to see where you've been really struggling with, what you really need help with. And we designed this course to take you step-by-step step through the entire process from your inspiration cake design that you really wanna do to a final cake that you're so proud of and teach you everything along the way. I know a ton of you have already signed up for the wait list and we're able to snatch the early bird deal before it closed. And thank you so much to everyone who has already bought it. It really means the world to me. But because we weren't able to shout out any YouTube video, we are opening up the special again for a very limited time for those of you guys who missed it on our other social posts. So click the link in the description or the pinned comment to get the limited time only early bird deal before it closes. Let's go get the cake from the fridge and hopefully that mold comes off okay. It is rock hard, so I feel like if it doesn't come off nicely, it's the mold at this point. Getting chocolate flung at me. <laughs> I think I'll take off the parchment paper first. Oh, it's a nice marble. Okay, the marble looks good. I hope it looks like that throughout the entire thing because that I, that looks really cool. I don't want to do it. Oh, it's sticking to it a bit. What do you mean it's sticking? If you look in this corner, yeah, you can see that there's like some chocolate. Oh, it's in. still soft. It's not like that is that is hard. Okay, this part's looking better. Should I do it fast or slow? I don't know, does it matter? Okay, I went with fast. Okay, but this side is pretty good. Yeah, it looks cool here. Wow, I'm in there! That's so weird. You can weird. see like how much of it's just stuck into the mold. That's so weird. You just got this like block at the back. But I love the pattern that you can see. Like it looks really cool. It almost worked. I think I can touch it up a bit but it, like it's gonna need a lot of touching up, like especially like this whole section. Like I don't it just- I think you can do anything about that. At least just it's at the back this, though. Yeah, but this was supposed to be the back. So like now this is all the back. <laughs> Got like a good side and an entire bad side. <laughs> we'll just cut to some music and B-roll so you're not bearing with me through the next hour of mindless scraping at this. Beautiful, like I can't get over how beautiful the marbling is, how beautiful the pattern is, but the second I turn it around to the side that like I couldn't touch up, I mean, I touched up for about an hour just to get to this point that like this part of the cake is beautiful, but like look at how much chocolate was ripped off. I would never want to use this again because I'm so scared because I'd be sitting there terrified the entire time after like a days of work and have that happened. And then like you have to have the height so specific, you have to have the size so specific. I can only ever make cake this big with this mold. I don't know if I would use it again. I still love the look of origami and I'm really glad we did the marble look because I love it. I just wish it was a little bit more loose marble. Let me know what you guys think down below though if you guys would use this. And like just needs to be said, the course has nothing to do with chocolate because chocolate is not my friend. But don't forget to click the pin comment or the description box for the limited early bird pricing and the wait list. Thank you guys so much for everyone who's bought it. You guys are incredible. I love you so much. Bye.